this morning, not this morning, yesterday. It's like, you get that close. It's fall racing season, or fall running season. I'm done with that. <sighs> morning. It's Sunday morning, it's about 9.45 or so. About 15 minutes until the race. Peeps are making a, making announcements, <clears throat> and it's looking to be a really nice day. Check it out. It's not really sunny, so it's not super warm, but it's also not windy, so it's not super cold. And check it out. It's a it's a big, fairly big race. I checked out the uh, number of participants uh, yesterday. There were 175 pre-registered runners. I think it was just like something like that. Or 174 um, and there's uh, definitely a lot of uh, you know day of the race sign up people so there's probably well over 200 people here and I hear there's gonna be part of it that's gonna be single track trail which means it's probably gonna be crowded um, today I am running with shoes on check it out got these uh, I'm gonna see how they do I guess there's a little bit of water on the course but not too much so I am running without socks so that's kind of it's kind of nice. <laughs> I went up to the uh, I went up to the registration <clears throat> table and they asked me if I was going to be running with no shoes because I walked up there barefoot and I was like, no, not today, not today. So we see how they go. I'm going to see how these shoes feel over an eight mile run. It'd be kind of nice to see. Um, but no, this is, um, my foot's still not good enough. I don't think feel like it's good enough to run um, run this course barefoot. It's pretty it's pretty um, technical. So. I'm just gonna play it safe. I want to keep this with the healing process finish, and uh, you know do what it does. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll reconvene after the race, see how it went, um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes well. Nice job by our next lady, finishing the eight here. Good job, well done. That's Margaret McMahon. Nice run. <laughs> All the way through the shoot, please, runners. Cliff Diamond finishing up. Nice job in the eight. These are your eight mile finishes now, folks. Way to go, runners. Randy Wolf, nice job. All the way through the shoot, runners, please. Robert George, way to go, Bob. All right, we just finished that race. It went very, very well, I must say. Um, Right away, let's get right to it. Uh, one minute, no, one hour, one minute, and something for a finishing time. And uh, nothing really went work bad, really. I mean, ran pretty hard the whole way through. Um, I was able to pace somebody for almost the entire race, so he was pretty happy about that. He came by and shook my hand afterwards. It was pretty cool. Uh, congrats, you know, thank me for basically pulling through the race. He was essentially breathing down my neck the entire race, but it was good because it kept me going, and I guess I kept him going, so that was cool. Um, I was hoping to see a little more of this lake, but I really didn't get to see much of any of it. Uh, I did run around it, that's basically what the run was. There's a lot of mix of trail and road. Uh, the last, basically the last mile is, is all road. But it was very nice, really good conditions. Um, just a little bit of water here and there. No wipeouts. Uh, the trail was really well marked. Kudos to Mr. Jeff Walker of the Westerly Track and Athletic Club. He set up the uh, markers for the course and, you know, checked the course conditions the day before and sent out email, you know, notify everybody what the race course was like. And, you know, really good job. You know, well done. Thank you for that. Uh, I did use my shoes today. And they work very, very well, the, the uh, Zero Prios. And you get torn out that a lot of traction, a lot more than I thought, because there's basically no lugs on They're really meant for road racing, um, or road running, or, you know, other kinds of non, not really built for trail, but they have a lot of grip, you know. The ground was covered in leaves, you know, kind of like this. The leaves are just like this all over the course. A um, little bit of snow, but really not that much. A lot of snow melt, so all the rivers and stuff were all flooded. All the creek areas like these were all flooded. So, like I said, it was wet, but it wasn't like it was super bad. I only had one really big dip. Uh, it was just a really, really nice run. 
Let's see. It looks like actually this is the, um, this, I didn't even notice this, this is the end of the four mile race. They have a much harder finish than we do on the eight mile. I have to go up this hill, up that road, and it's all uphill to the, to the finish. Ugh, that's gotta be rough. I don't see anybody coming in, so I think all the four milers are done. So, um, yeah, it was a really good race. I am hoping that, um, uh, hope that it came in pretty good. I don't know sure what the place was, but, you know, coming in about seven minutes, 40 seconds per mile across the entire race. I didn't bring my phone with me, so I didn't actually track my, my splits, but there was a lot of uphill, a lot of downhill. And check this out. There was a really, really nice spot for bouldering, for rock climbing. Um, and I want to go check it out now that I've seen it. And too bad it's so far away from my house. Kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, it looked really nice. I saw a little bit of chalk out there, so definitely, there's definitely some climbs there. So I want to go see it, see what it's like. And it's right near the road, which is kind of cool. I think you can park on that road too if I've ever seen a car over there. So I'm gonna go check that out um, sometime in the future. Maybe go grab it, my brothers and we'll go climbing there or something. It'd be kind of fun. All right, but that's it for now. Uh, race went really well. Uh, I'm gonna go check out uh, the food, what kind of venue they have over there, and see what it is. And until next time, run hard, run free, and God bless.